Hey guys, welcome back to another Mafia 2 Definitive Edition episode. Uh, I think this one we're on chapter 4. And um, yeah, thanks so much if you've been watching up to this point. Let's get into it. Night Shift. Nice. Chapter 5. The Buzzsaw. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Okay. We should have. Yes. Let's put that on. These are dope threads. Let's look at it. I wish I could wear stuff like this in real life. But then I just look like a... I don't know. I don't know. I look like an idiot with the raincoat. I think you've got to be like a really sort of slender person to be able to pull off a raincoat with like a suit. Fuck you, stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. No, well, that's good. Uh... You smacked up my car. I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What is she, your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Oh shit. New set of teeth, my man. New set of teeth. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. A lesson in manners. You know what? We'll just take this guy's car, because... What an asshole. I don't worry, it's just a just a flesh wound. Oh shit. We missed the uh Oh, we'll just go around the block. Bit of a scenic drive, you know it is. Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. Take a load. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... 
I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... Don't. Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Oh, damn. Shit's about to get real. See you later. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going to this new island. We should be able to find some some new cars because these are rubbish. I don't know about you guys, but I got a feeling that um, that guy that we just spoke to said we need to pay five grand to get into the family. I feel like he's he's gonna rip us off or like stab us in the back or something. He just uh, his character's just got that untrustworthy look about him.
we have arrived. Okay, let's go get our our gun. Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Oh, sweet. I was gonna say, if we walked out of here just sort of with in our inventory, there wouldn't have been that great. But, I mean, the attention to detail, picking up a crate with the gun and having to load it in the van, that's pretty cool. Load the crates. Now what do you want to bet this thing's gonna drive like an absolute snail? Come on man, get out the way. Piss off. <laughs> Even the suspension on this thing is terrible. Dancing around. Goodness.
Okay, well, so I cut out a little bit of the driving, but I thought I'd uh, bring you back in over here. I mean, just look at that. You can actually see the whole city. And the weather's starting to clear up. That is pretty sick. If I can keep the damn vehicle on the road. Look at that. Apartment 233, Misery Lane. <laughs> How ironic. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. Uh, things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming! Those black cars! Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that fat fuck. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Chase him. Oh, man, come on. Get off. Shotgun. I'm going in. Oh, oh yeah, boy. Oh, they teach you that oh, in the army? Man. Oh, no. This thing is legend. Stop. Stay where you are. Back me up, Vito. You shoot my 
like my sister. Yep. Take that, bitch. Okay, let's go. Let's okay, go. hit the button, Vito. Guns do these guys have? Come on, we're taking the elevator. I don't know about you guys, but I don't even see doing, that Joe? guy with the um, with the machine well, gun. I'm trying to shoot him, but I don't see him. Right. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Here they come! Go Shit, they got commies. Oh. I'll cover you moving. Shit, there's an army out Joe, do something! We can't just fucking sit here! What the fuck do you expect me to do? They shoot at me for Christ's sake! Vito, do something! You're the expert here! Come on, let's go! Let's go. You shoot like my sister! Okay, let's pick up one of those. Come on, Porky's upstairs. Ah, there we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, oh shit! No. I'll do something. You're the expert here. Cover okay guys, sorry about the weird cut. I um I died unfortunately. And uh Yeah. On, so I had to get all the way back here so I could uh, continue on to show you guys. This time I'm gonna try and not be so um so rash. That'll do. I've always wanted to kill one of you bastards. <laughs> oh man, I was literally two guys away from being here. Don't kill me. Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Sorry, you. <laughs> Henry, you okay? Hey. Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg! Oh, oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy. Lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, 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 you're heavier than you look. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. I suppose we're gonna run into guys on the way out of here. Hey, careful! No, it's fucking Please. hurts. I don't yeah, want well, to die. Yeah, walk if you don't quit your moaning. Oh. Fuck! Uh, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Come on, stick your head out, mate. Got 
hurry. Fire spread. Damn it, I know it. This is my 13th contract. <laughs> oh, damn it, you lucky bastard. Not that way. Here we go. Oh no, we're getting in this crusty old piece of crap. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, now nah, I suppose we're gonna get away from the cops as well. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. They went after the guy in the movie. He... In pursuit of armed suspect. Uh, We're taking him down. Jesus, you drive like my fucking... Oh, man. I was trying to get away from the cop, but then there were so many behind me. Didn't really make any difference. Oh, come on. Let's see if we can get the Yo, cop car to um, hit one of these cars in front. Damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. you always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Hopefully we don't um, run into any cops on the way there. Oh no! Never mind. Go 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 go! This guy's go. a maniac. We gotta take him down. Ten four. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Oh, yes, that guy looks like he got stuck. Thank goodness for that. Should have gone to the um, service place and had a new number plate put on it. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Vito there. That house. Park right in front. Oh, I only just made it. Ugh. You are Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help or he's gonna bleed to death. 
Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <clears throat> All right. Damn, that shit got heavy. First, we need to find another car because this thing is a pile of rubbish. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? I'm just going to leave it right there. Good care. Oh, come on, man. What's with the police? I just can't get a, catch a break. Two police cops, one after the next one. I mean, come on. Get out. Oh, Please don't Can't go in with cops on the tail. Ah, fuck my life. Okay, let's try this again. Feel free to look around, just let me know if you need anything. Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, because he looks that much different. <laughs> anyway. Take care and come. Come on, man. Fucking idiot. Let's go pay the family's debt. Don't even remember what her name was. Um, this one? No. This one? Oh, damn it. Letter. Oh, okay. Vito, oh, hey, read. how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? 
Take care of yourself, Fido. Well, guys, I think we're gonna um, end today over here, and um, when we come back, we'll start chapter number five, I think it was. And um, yeah, if you're enjoying the series, just leave a like. Um, leave a comment if you'd like to see something different or uh, any games that you'd like to see in the future. One game I'm really looking forward to is um, Cyberpunk 2077. That's going to be amazing. So look for, looking forward to that in September. But um, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to see. And um, thanks.